In the depth of the sea, hidden in the abyss, where even the sun cannot reach, dwells a mighty leviathan, or at least, that's what the legend says about this mythical monster. The leviathan is a primordial creature found originally in the mythology and traditions of the Hebrew and Christians. It was first mentioned in the book of Job in the Old Testament of the Bible. The creature was said to be the female counterpart of the male behemoth, which we already discussed in the previous video. It was a personification of chaos and was said to be so huge that it was impossible to see in its entirety, it was simply too vast. The descriptions of the beast are varied. Some say that the Leviathan was about 300 miles long, and others say that it might have been up to 900 miles long. Usually it's described as a long snake-like creature with a dragon head, razor-sharp teeth, and glowing eyes. It's also been described with seven heads, 300 eyes, and was so vast that he encircled the world in the Great Abyss, the cosmic ocean that encircled the world. This is very reminiscent of the Norse myth about Jormunganda, the Midgard serpent that also encircled the world. Not only was it massive and powerful, it was also practically indestructible. It was said that the Leviathan's body was covered in a double layer of armored scales, just like a coat of mail, and whenever it swam close to the surface, the sea would boil all around it. That formed a sort of fog, where it was possible to see glimpses of the shadow of the beast moving in it. In one version of the Jewish myth, it was said that God created two leviathans, a male and a female. But when he realized that if the creatures would ever procreate and multiply, then they would devour the world in its entirety and everything that lives on it. Therefore, he decided to kill the female leviathan and leave only the male to roam in the cosmic ocean. According to the different versions of the myth, the Leviathan is supposed to be slayed by either the Behemoth in a battle to the death, by Yahweh, or by the Archangel Gabriel. The legend says that the body of the defeated sea serpent will be used to provide food for the people that lived their lives in righteousness after the Day of Judgment. Its skin will be used to cover their roofs and the walls of Jerusalem for everyone to see. Nowadays, the word Leviathan can refer to a myriad of large and dangerous monsters or sea creatures. In some popular cultures, it is said that the natural maritime disasters, such as sea storms and tsunamis, might be caused by a massive sea creature hiding in the darkest unexplored parts of the ocean. So that's all for today's video. Thanks everyone for watching, make sure to like and share the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel for even more myths and legends. Now then. Thanks again, and see you all very soon.